All right, guys, if you are like me, you love Halloween and you have lots of animatronics. Animatronics that jump, animatronics that scream, and animatronics that just will not shut up. The problem with these animatronics is that they all have these pesky plugs. Wires everywhere. There's never really anywhere to plug them in without an extension cord. And what if you want to use them outside or use a whole bunch at the same time? Well, the good news is these can be replaced with a battery pack that you can get at Spirit Halloween. The bad news is... They're never available. Say what? Yeah, the stores are only open for three months out of the year, and you can never find them in stock online. Well, I found a solution, and today I'm gonna show you how to take this and turn it into this. So I have a box of things here that I bought from Amazon. We're going to go through this. I'm going to show you what each of these things are, and I'm going to leave a link below in the description to each thing so you can get this stuff yourselves. Now, you're also going to need a few tools here. I wish I could say that you can just go on Amazon and buy the battery pack, get it home and plug it in, and you're good to go, but that's not really the case. You're going to have to do a little bit of work. So we have just a couple of razors here, a pair of pliers, and some black electrician's tape. Now, you can also, and more preferably, get those little wire nuts. It's a thing that you stick two ends of the wire in and you twist it on the end. It's plastic and it holds it together so that you can't touch it and get electrocuted. So let's see what's in the box here, guys. The first thing that I ordered was this two pack of D battery holders. Now this has some wire leads on the back here. I actually bought four packs of these so I can power eight animatronics when I get these all done. And again, I'll leave a link below to all this stuff so you guys can order it yourself. But this is what it looks like here. It's just a battery pack that holds four D batteries, has a black and a red wire coming off of it. The next thing I got was these leads that we're gonna connect to each of those, and it has the correct adapter here that you can plug into the back of your animatronic. So let's just pull one of these out, we'll take a look at it. As I said, you have the end that's gonna plug into your animatronic, right where the wall adapter would go. And on the other end, we have a black and a red wire which is what I just said we're gonna to connect to these black and red wires. It's gonna be that simple. And of course, I also bought a giant box of D batteries. Now you don't have to buy as many as I did. I like to buy in bulk so I always have enough. There are 12 packs of D batteries in here. And if you buy in bulk, you usually get them for a better price. Each of these holds 4D batteries. And like I said, I bought four packs of these. So in the end, we're going to be able to power eight animatronics. Okay, maybe I'm a couple batteries short. But anyway, this is a super simple project, guys. As I showed you, each of these has a black and a red wire on the end. At the moment, they're very short, as you can see. So we're going to need to take our knife, slice the wire a little bit, and pull some of that plastic off so it exposes more of the wire, gives us enough to really wrap it together. Okay, so like I said, we're just gonna take one end here and we're gonna very carefully cut these little wires here just through the plastic so that we don't cut the wire itself, but so that we can pull some of that off of there just to expose a little bit more of that wire. We're gonna do that to both of those, and then we're gonna go to our battery pack and do it to both of these as well. Just like that. Then we're just going to twist them together, the red to the red, and the black to the black. And there we go. And you do not want the red and the black wires to touch each other. So you want to take a little piece of tape and wrap each of these individually. So now we have the red and the black attached, and they're wrapped individually with the black electrician's tape. And now since they're not touching, you can put them together just to make it a little stronger where you cut it and wrap the whole connection with that black tape. And there you go, you have it all built and ready to roll. Now I'm gonna take it a step further and I'm gonna tape this extra wire onto the back of the box here, just because that's kind of frail and I don't want that to get pulled. Okay, there we go. That makes it a lot more secure on there. Now I might even go back later on and put some duct tape on that, just for the same purpose. You don't want that to get pulled and ruin all your work. So the next thing we need to do is load up some batteries. These are Panasonic D 
batteries. We're going to use four of them. And again, I'll put the links down below for any of this stuff you might want to get from Amazon for yourself. That way you don't have to go searching and wondering if you have the right things. Okay, pretty tight fit in there, but there isn't anything that closes on top of that. So once again, I'm just going to put a strip of the tape on there to hold those batteries more secure. And now we're ready to test it out, plug in our animatronic. We're going to go ahead and use Grim because obviously he is the easiest access. We're going to unplug the, uh, the wall plug and plug in our battery pack. Your host is not here right now. They're busy burying something in the backyard. But we'll have loads of fun while they're gone. <laughs> the night is young and I'm ready to party. You gotta like Graham. Now I will say this, you can kind of hear how his voice is kind of crackly. That's because the connections where the batteries touch are not perfect. You have to sit here and kind of bend and mold it a little bit to make sure that all those connectors are touching the batteries correctly. Your host is not here right now. And there's the sensor. 